Hey, how's it going everyone? Um, and I need to quickly apologize because in the last video where I did the shout outs, I did actually say that I would put the links to those people who I gave a shout out in the description box below. Well, I'm just a man and I'll put my hands up and say I did forget. <laughs> So I apologize. So for those who had the shout out in the last video, their links to their page or their YouTube or their Instagram will be in the description box below. Uh, and along with these other people that I'm gonna give another shout out to uh, because uh, I don't do it all the time. I do appreciate everyone and you're all doing an amazing job. So we're gonna try and, you know, I'm gonna try and make this a bit of a regular thing. So the next few channels I want to give a shout out to is James at Just Bulls, uh, a great guy, he comes over on a regular basis, we have a chat, uh, try and guide him and, and James has got some really good you know, ideas that he wants to run with the Purple Passion stuff. Uh, again, he's on Instagram as well, so get over there and follow him on that. Um, the next person I want to give a shout out is my good friend Chris over at Max Morphs. Um, he's a great guy. It's a great family, all in all. Um, but the, the the guy's absolutely amazing. He's uh, the hostess with the mostess for sure. When I went up there to the Glasgow meeting, him and his family just really looked after me, and I can't thank them enough. So, Chris keep up the good work mate um, it's awesome the links to their channels uh, and their Instagram will also be in the description box below um, moving on uh, there's a few more I want to give a big shout out to uh, and again these guys I feel you know they give a lot to the uh, community and they put a lot of stuff out there uh, and I just feel you know they do do a lot uh, and again we're all different people we've all got different ways and means of doing things and that's the beauty behind this hobby so <clears throat> the next one I want to give a shout out to is Reese's Pythons um, always commenting always supporting and I can't thank him enough so he's one of them so the next one is Morph Mixology uh, again great channel great people um, really clued up and love to share uh, their experience as they're going along fantastic channel again get over there and have a look uh, the next one is DNS Pythons uh, great people again just started up on YouTube so please go over there give them some support uh, again we're all in this community together so any support from you guys would be truly appreciated now Let's cue that intro and let's check out some babies. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Gavin from Balls to You and as you can see we've got an egg cutting video to do. Um, as you can see, uh, the pairing on this was a leopard clown bred to an emperor pin female and as you can see uh, one of the eggs went bad. Normally I take them out but I left them in uh, for this purpose uh, just to show you guys it didn't affect the other eggs however if that was touching um, you know any of the other eggs as in like it was piled on top or anything like that I would separate it and I would get rid of it um, I've got the fans on today so please excuse the fans in the background but as you can see we have a pippa so let's get rid of these pegs what I've wanted for a long time was a snow leopard which is a leopard pinstripe lesser pastel or pastel lesser pinstripe leopard um, so hopefully I hit one Obviously everything in this clutch is going to be head clone, which is fantastic. So um, let's, well, let's leave the pipper. Let's have a look at these. So first things first, what I'm looking for, and these are about five days early. Um, but obviously we've had extreme heat um, Oh, here in the UK but what I'm also looking for um, is when I'm feeling I can actually feel the babies or the, the snakes inside uh, there's not much fluid left and I can actually feel uh, the baby there so let's start with this one Okay, so 
that looks to be uh, like a oh looks to be like a pastel leopard lesser That looks to be like a potential emperor pin. Okay, guys, I'm just checking if the baby's okay because it looks in a weird position, uh, but they do get themselves in some weird angles. So that too looks like to be an emperor pin. So this, at the very least, is a um, lemon blast. Not too sure if it's a leopard lemon blast, but let's just call it a lemon blast for now. is a pastel leopard. The good thing with this clutch is uh, potentially the, the variation, you know, there's there's enough room for lots of variations, lots of combos, uh, which is which, which is amazing. Again, they're all going to be heck clown, so there's loads of ways, you know, you could use these uh, combos into projects, which is a uh, into projects obviously with regarding the clown. So there we have a very clean pastel. Already sticking its head out, bless him. These babies are absolutely massive. That's a real nice one. Look at the head on that, guys. That was definitely, obviously, a pastel leopard. The head's massive. Yeah, there's definitely leopard in this one. So that's a leopard lemon blast. Tell by the head. Oh, 
I do believe that potentially, again, either a, pins, um, a lemon blast or a leopard lemon blast will soon see. So, I don't think I ate the snow leopard, however, um, you know, I can't complain at the odds. Uh, what have we got? We've got one single gene, which is a real nice looking pastel. Um, really nice looking pastel. Again, with this dad, uh, the dad was the one I got from Aussie, and uh, potentially could be hepoid. Um, but wow, look at that one! So, pastel leopard, head clown, obviously. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's pastel. Uh, it looks really strange. So, pastel clown for now. Uh, sorry, pastel heck clown. Um, look at this one. So that is a leopard pastel. Pinstripe. Wow, look at that, guys. Funky. Okay, um, call this one a pastel leopard. It's too funky just to be a normal leopard. Uh, this one I would say a um, emperor pin. This one I would deem to be a uh, another emperor pin, and this one's looking like a pastel, pastel lesser leopard. But again, we'll see when it comes out. But that's what it's looking like at the minute, guys. So there we have it. Not too bad at all. Really pleased with this clutch. Obviously, we've got one bad egg. I'll take that out and get rid of that now. But again, as you can see, guys, real great variation here. Everything is going to be 100%. Obviously, het clown, as I keep saying, and pos het pied. So, some interesting combinations here for sure. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this clutch. Obviously, I'll keep you guys updated. Please make sure you hit that notification bell, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and thank you in advance for hitting that like button guys i really really do appreciate it so enjoy the rest of your evening guys take care and i'll speak to you guys soon